Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is just about 5.30 Easter Sunday. Happy Easter everyone. Uh, the 9th of April 2023. It is 60 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Jacksonville, Florida. Rainy. And it says 91% humidity. I don't know where they get that from. It's 100%. It's falling out of the sky. It'll be 15 Celsius. Calculus. See, whatever the heck it is. I know it's not calculus. That's what my grandson's taking. Uh, anyhow. Headed to the son's house for dinner. I just stopped at Dollar Tree. Because I needed a few things at the house. Um, I they'll, they'll be closed by the time I'm heading back. So, uh, I'll, I'll probably do a, a Dollar Tree haul later tonight. But, anyway, it's kind of nice having the back seat cleaned out. Because I got a place to put stuff. But, also having the back seat cleaned out, I have a place to put stuff. <laughs> That's not actually the the best thing that I can do. Um, oh well, it is what it is. I've got some uh, metal dryer tube that I picked up in the back here, and then up on the roof, I've got like a twelve foot stick or ten foot stick of two inch PVC. So. Uh, they were, it was a house clean out or a house remodel or something. I don't know. There was a bunch of other stuff, but I wasn't going to mess with it. So, anyhow, uh, I did not do a video last night. Sorry about that. Well, not a riding or not a, not a vlog type video anyway. I posted my little fire kit. I no sooner got it done and it started raining. Man. So... While I'm thinking about it, somebody has mentioned, I know who it is, I just can't, the name won't come to me. Somebody has said something about putting safety pins in my in my one kit. I've got this one. It's more of a cloak pin or a scarf pin. I actually located that when I was looking through some other stuff. So, unfortunately, it will not fit in that kit that I was showing. And I don't have... I don't have the big safety pins. So, I need to find some. Uh, but yeah, yesterday, it, I mean, it started raining. And uh, it's like, it's still raining. I got up today. I was supposed to do Easter over at the Heart Suns. But it was like 63 degrees or something. When I got up at noon and rainy. And just like, yeah, no, not today. Sorry. Uh, my bones just can't take it. I, I've, I've been popping aspirin. Like I said, I got up at noon. And uh, I took aspirin again just before I left. So it's been four or five hours. Uh, and I just get achy. You know, all those, all those old breaks and whatnot. And it's just a little cool and damp out. So my hands hurt. My arm hurts. My shoulders both hurt. My legs hurt. I'm just, I'm just falling apart. But, uh, anyhow. So I've been thinking about a get home kit. I've said this in the past. If, if an EMP hits, you know, if, if, if a nuclear bomb goes off, well, first of all, I'm four miles as, as the crow flies from Mayport Naval Air Station. And maybe, maybe six from uh, NAS Jacks. So Mayport is, is Mayport Navy Base, not the Navy Station. 
Mayport Navy Base, you know, where the carriers and all that stuff are docked. So I'm sure in a first strike, that would be something they're going to hit. And then Naval Air Station Jacksonville is just across the river, maybe six or seven miles as the crow flies. So maybe 10, doesn't matter. Still well within a kill zone. But if an EMP goes off, that's going to kill my truck and leave me stranded. It's also going to strike my heart, my pacemaker. And I don't know how long I would last with that not functioning. Um, maybe a good while, maybe not. So, like the last time I went to the doctor, uh, the enlarged part of my heart had shrunk appreciably, like over a fifth, close to a quarter. So, that's good, you know? I pump. Um, the, the way they measure the pump, those numbers were uh, a lot better. So, all that doesn't mean anything. I could take it, could stop, to, you know, in five minutes driving down the road. But, anyway, it's one of them. I mean, putting these kits together is kind of a uh, what, what am I what am I trying to think of? Mind calisthenics, uh, cerebrium calisthenics, something. You know, putting putting all these parts and pieces together and whatnot. And uh, so I kind of, I kind of take that into consideration. But by the same token, you know, what if I do survive? So I need to get back to either my house or one of the kids' houses. And, like, you know, I can't do 20 miles. Um, I'm not even exactly sure how far it is from my house to my son's house. But that would take me the better part. You know, like what we're doing right now, uh, actually it's a little, little less because I'm starting at Dollar Tree. But, um, it generally takes me 20 minutes or so by, by car or by vehicle so that would probably take me the better part of two days if not three days so I need to be more or less prepared to go out and do that right so that's kind of what I've been putting together kicking around in my head and I've been doing all these other these little little kits, fire kits, and uh, everyday candy kits. You know, I'm not even sure what's in this one while we're at traffic light. I think it's just like a flashlight. Yeah, there's a flashlight and some aspirin and a lighter and some cough drops. And the cough drop wrappers are kind of a kind of a, uh, a tinder. You, you light on fire and, you know, just... It's not a get home. It's not. It's, it's just a maybe. I maybe I'm out and want to start a fire to make a cup of coffee. You know. So of course I've got <laughs> all that stuff in the back of the truck. So yeah, redundant redundancies. It, you know, it is what it is. Uh, oh, Publix is closed. So I'm glad I stopped. I'm glad Dollar Tree was actually open. And I thank both of the cashiers for working on Easter. And there were two people stocking shelves, too. I mean, the one day I was there last week, uh, the, the gal I know had been there all day by herself. And today there were four people working. So, go figure. Anyway. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it last night in, in the fire piece video. My son worked on the on the van with the computer thing for several hours. Um, we got it running. Well, we he got it running somewhat better. It's still breaking up. Kind of leaning towards. Um, Somebody had mentioned, this, I think it was the throttle position, position sensor. 
and that keeps sending a code. And it could have just been that it got warmed up. Um, like it got it got hot, so it's not working properly. So there's that part. Excuse me. And then it stinks. My goodness, it, it smells worse than, than my son's diesel. <laughs> like just sitting there, that sulfur egg smell. Um, yeah. So that's telling me, telling us actually. Um, catalytic converter. So, it still has its cats on it. Almost 300,000 miles. I'm sure they've been replaced at least once. But, it seems like maybe a lot of stuff kind of like came together at the same same time. Like it overheated and this sense, you know, this sensor went bad and the cats clogged and, you know, maybe they got hot and caused the overheating. We really don't know. We're chasing chasing a mystery. So I think I want to turn here. I've got a green light, so I'll turn here. Yeah, this takes me in the other side of the shop. That's what I thought. Uh, it's been a while since I've been down here to this shop. A friend of mine used to used to run it. Anyhow. Um, oh, wow. They tore that whole thing down over there. Wow. Man, there was a court and different office, or, yeah, different stores and yada, yada, yada. And now they're building giant, looks like, I don't know, apartments or condos or something. Wow. We were down here the other day and we turned when we were down. Um, we were one street up. So I did not see what they were doing there. And they're putting buildings up all over the place. Uh, figures, traffic's going to come. Get out of here in the intersection. All right. Ah. I don't know where I was. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm talking about the van. Um, she runs, and she'll get she'll ride ride down the road a little bit. But she's popping and struggling and gasping and just like still low on power. So need to do a little bit more diagnosing. Uh, it's the way of it. And hopefully it's gonna turn out hopefully it's gonna turn out to be something silly. Because it's not it's not acting like a blown head gasket. Um, there's no no steam at the exhaust. There's no oil in the in the radiator. Um, there was transmission fluid, but we think that was because it popped a hole in the radiator. We bypassed it, and then after letting it run for a while, it didn't it didn't return. So uh, it doesn't seem like a head gasket. Could very well be that it's, it's blocked up and can't breathe. So uh, we'll see about figuring that out next weekend, maybe the weekend after. <laughs> Whenever he gets time, he was getting on my case about cleaning it out. I'm like, I got no place to put this stuff. It's just like cleaning the stuff out of the back of this. I have no place to put it while I'm organize, reorganizing. There's no place in the house. So, you know, he wants me to clean it out so we can <sighs> nice little lamp shade back there. He, wa he, wants to, he wants to do a build out of the van. So, uh, anyway, 
we are at my last turn. We have arrived. Oh. So, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down, thumbs up, leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If you love us nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. And say, hey, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised on the next breath. So I see you all again. I hope you have a fantastic day. Slotchy, y'all. Uh, Bye-bye.